Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for trusting my daughter over an adult man? Last week, I made chicken makai soup for dinner. As the soup was almost ready, I got sidetracked helping my daughter with a school project. She served as both a bowl, but then my boyfriend rushed in with another bowl, insisting I should eat from his instead. He claimed my original bowl had more chicken, which seemed odd since my daughter had served it. When my daughter tried to take the bowl he gave me, he snatched it back, saying it was specifically for me. I took the bowl he offered and went back to helping my daughter, quietly telling her not to eat the soup. About 20 minutes later, I went to the kitchen to throw out the soup, and my boyfriend was still eating his. When he asked why we hadn't eaten ours I lied and said the cat had gotten into it. His reaction was over the top, especially when he asked, Was it your bowl? Cats can't eat that. His reaction struck me as strange. Over the past six months, there have been other odd incidents that now seem suspicious. My emergency money went missing. I keep this money hidden in various places because I lost my older sister due to not being able to escape a dangerous situation. I swore I'd never be in that position again. After the soup incident, I checked for my money and found it gone. My daughter mentioned seeing my pink wallet in his car. I never told her where the money was or that it was in a wallet. I decided to ask my boyfriend if he had accidentally found my money. He said, why are you hiding all this money you know you can't leave me, and laughed. This reaction was new and unsettling. He denied finding the money and offered to use his credit card for gifts instead. I didn't mention that my daughter had seen my wallet. There were other troubling incidents. Once, he almost used a latex condom despite knowing about my severe allergy. My epipen, which I keep in my room, went missing, and I only realized it when I was looking for my money. Another time he kicked the back of my leg while I was carrying laundry down the stairs, making me fall. He said it was an accident, but he was wearing steel toe boots, and the stairs are wood. I started feeling anxious and wondered if I was overthinking things. Even though we had a good relationship, these incidents made me uneasy. Last night, I decided to check his car for my wallet, and he caught me, I asked for my money back, and he tried to play dumb. When I mentioned my daughter saw my wallet, he accused her of lying. I asked again for my money, and he said, I'm not giving you money to leave me. I waited until he was in the shower, grabbed my daughter and our cat, and left. We ended up at a cheap motel because the DV shelters were full and I couldn't take my cat to a shelter. I felt silly for being scared but also relieved to be away from him. I was devastated about losing my emergency money, which was meant to protect us in exactly this kind of situation. The next day, he sent me a picture of my epipen, claiming it had been in my nightstand all along. I knew he had taken it. He tried to gaslight me, saying I was overreacting and watching too much true crime. I asked him to give back my money and epipen, but he denied having any of it. He then sent threatening messages, including pictures of his target practice sheets, and warned that we'd be treated as trespassers if we went back to the apartment. I went to the police with all the evidence I had, including threatening texts and a statement from my landlord. Despite this, the police dismissed it as a civil issue. They had spoken to my boyfriend, who denied everything and claimed my daughter probably destroyed her own things because she is special ed. My daughter has very mild aspergers, but she doesn't destroy things. The police sided with him saying it was his word against mine and told me to let it go. I felt completely defeated. My daughter and I were stuck in motels, struggling with money and I couldn't even afford a decent Christmas for her. Shelters were full, and I couldn't bear to lose our cat. My boyfriend was getting away with everything, and there seemed to be no justice for us. I was grateful we left when we did, as I am convinced he would have eventually harmed me. Looking back, everything fell into place, the latex condom incident, the missing epipen, the accidental fall, the stolen money, and destroyed belongings all pointed to a pattern of control and abuse. His behavior had been escalating and I feared what might have happened if we had stayed any longer. His reaction to the soup incident had been especially unsettling. His insistence that I eat from the bowl he gave me, his extreme reaction when I lied about the cat, and his fixation on that specific bowl, made me fear he was trying to harm me, I knew I had narrowly escaped a dangerous situation. Determined to rebuild our lives and ensure our safety, I reached out to local DV resources. Without a restraining order or police report, I struggled to get the help we needed. I felt trapped, but was committed to finding a way out for my daughter's sake. In the following weeks, I started piecing our lives back together. 
I found a part-time job, began saving for affordable housing, and continued therapy for both myself and my daughter to heal from the trauma. Despite the challenges, every small victory felt like progress. I refused to let fear and despair consume me. My daughter and I deserved a better life, and I was determined to make it a reality. With each passing day, I grew stronger and more resilient, ready to face whatever came next. Story 2 AITA for making my husband choose between divorce and being a stay-at-home dad while I work full-time to support us. My husband, 37M, used to be the main provider while I, 36F, stayed home with our two-year-old daughter. About a month ago, he lost his job and said he was feeling drained and unmotivated. I agreed to take on the working role while he stayed home to take care of our daughter and rest. Our daughter is in daycare, so his main responsibilities were supposed to be housework and picking her up. But he said he needed a complete break. I was furious because this meant either I'd have to juggle working in childcare, or we'd be in serious financial trouble. Despite my frustration, I took on the challenge and spent a tough month doing everything while he spent his time with friends and playing on his PS5. I finally hit my breaking point and told him he needed to choose between being a house husband or getting a divorce. He chose to be a house husband, but it felt like he was just doing it to comply. Now I'm wondering if I was too harsh. I'd love any advice on this. Update. I didn't expect this to get so much attention. I'm trying to read as many comments as I can and really value your insights, especially about things I should have mentioned to him. I showed him the post after work to see if we could have a real conversation about it. He was surprised I shared our issues on Reddit and said he wouldn't have done that. He told me he wasn't depressed, just tired and worn out from years of work, and he enjoyed having a break. I got that better since we used to travel a lot before our daughter came along, and life's been tougher since then. I told him I wasn't going to force him to work, but he needed to take care of our daughter and handle the housework. He hesitated but promised he'd take care of things. I thought we'd work things out, but the next day I came home from work to find his mother at our house. I was shocked because he hadn't mentioned this to me. She started picking up our daughter and doing the housework, which is driving me crazy because I've never gotten along well with her. My husband knows this, and it feels like he invited her over so he could keep being carefree while ignoring my feelings. His mother raised him as a single parent and had planned to live with him forever. He felt suffocated, went to college far away, and cut back on contact with her. I remember a time when she came to visit, got sick, and vomited. Then she asked my husband to wash her dirty underwear by hand, even though we had a washing machine. We'd agreed that our marriage was ours and his mother wouldn't live with us. He broke that promise. I'm thinking about divorce but I'm worried our daughter is too young to understand. I've considered holding on a bit longer, but living with her is already driving me mad and I don't see a quick fix. I've even thought about being unreasonable and asking her to leave, but that could lead to divorce. I really need some advice. Thanks for any help you can offer.